I'm broadcasting this presentation from my hometown of Ghent. I was not able to join you in Lyon, however, I do wish you a safe and pleasant uh, meeting. I was asked to battle with Michel Bonin, a close friend, uh, concerning osteotomies, closing wedge versus os uh, opening wedge osteotomy. Now this is a mini battle because we all know that there are minor changes or minor advantages and disadvantages uh, for every technique that we use in the clinical practice. If we would discuss this as an old school debate, uh, then most often the biggest argument against opening wedge osteotomy is the bone healing argument. Because bone healing is not easy. However, lately uh, very good stable fixation plates have been uh, available for surgery and that obviates the need for bone grafts, that obviates the discussion on smokers and early weight bearing because these modern plates do allow uh, easy and fast mobilization after osteotomy. Now also there will be some discussion on leg length and I must admit that with an opening wedge osteotomy you have a little bit more lengthening of the lower limb versus closing wedge osteotomies. Same goes for patellar height. I think we all know these discussions on patellar height and the influence it might have. But clinically, there's very little downsides of an opening wedge osteotomy and the potential uh, distress of having a patella baja. Again, on uh, sagittal plane accuracy and slope corrections, we have to admit that with opening wedge osteotomy, there is a tendency, albeit very slight, that you will increase a little bit the slope, while with the closing wedge, you're going to have a decrease in slope. But these have very minor biomechanical effects on the cruciate ligaments, and therefore, I think they are of no more discussion at this point using modern technology and modern tools. However, I do believe that opening wedge osteotomy is easy and fast. There's no need for this crazy math with all these angles and these measurements. There's only the need for a single cut versus the complexity of two cuts in the closing wedge osteotomy. And of course, there is no need for a fibular osteotomy. Therefore, the whole technique is easier and more reproducible and makes your surgery very fast, very accurate. If we discuss uh, the uh, precision, I think all of us have to admit that opening wedge osteotomy is precise. It has superior precision because you can adjust the correction during the surgery. You can use uh, laminar spreaders, you can use the uh, peroperative x-ray to evaluate your correction, but you can also now use these patient-specific spacers. And this is introduction of modern 3D technology in your clinical practice as we speak. Um, all of this is translated into uh, superior frontal plane accuracy. All of the studies clearly in the, indicate that there is a higher accuracy for opening wedge osteotomy and there, that there are fewer outliers if you compare this with closing wedge osteotomy. I also am a uh, firm believer that uh, opening wedge osteotomy is ready for the future. In our hospital in Antwerp, we now do every case with a 3D analysis pre-op. We prepare the case, we correct the slope, we correct the frontal plane, we create these tailor-made patient-specific wedges, we print them in-house, and then we translate those into the clinical practice, into the OR. And I can tell you that we have superior outcome concerning precision using these patient-specific tools. Also, osteotomy opening wedge is safer. There's no crazy nerves on the lateral side. There's no crazy compartment syndrome. There's no crazy offset problems that we all know that we had with closing wedge osteotomy because there's very little bone loss for a subsequent total knee arthroplasty versus a conventional uh, closing wedge uh, technology. So basically, I do believe that medial opening wedge osteotomy is simply faster, safer, more precise and basically future-proof, and therefore it is better than the closing wedge osteotomy. However, there's one big uh, condition. We need a stable fixation, and I do believe that currently on the market, stable fixation is guaranteed across all the providers of these plates. Thank you very much, and I again, I wish you a very safe and enjoyable journey at uh, stay at Lyon. Thank you.